Good morning and welcome back to the Social Common Kitchen where we are on location yet again with one of our favorite entrepreneurs, Nikki Goldman Stroh. And we're in her space at Seasons Family Center where you run a fabulous business. Thank you. But today we're going to bake with her. Well, not bake, we're gonna decorate yes. and do arts and crafts. This okay. is for all of you moms out there who did wanna throw a birthday party. So Nikki, what exactly are we making? So I've saved all you moms who are scared of baking in the kitchen by doing cake in the box. These Which are, is like a Duncan Hines yeah, or Betty like a Crocker, Betty, Crocker. Betty Crocker. These okay. are great. They take literally 10 minutes plus the time in the oven. And I do two different flavors just so that when you cut into the cake, you know, it looks like fancy. Really yes. fancy. So we have vanilla and chocolate. Yum. Okay, and so once you've made your cakes, you use circle pans, and you take them out, you're going to ice them, and we're gonna make a buttercream frosting. And that's ice. easy? That's very easy, and again, if you're scared of the kitchen, you can always buy frosting in a kit. Okay, Nikki, so how easy is it? It's so easy. Step one, bake the cake. All you need are three ingredients plus the box. Three eggs, cup of water, half a cup of oil. Step two, make the icing. All right, Nikki, let's make this buttercream. Oh, we, how much uh, shortening is this? This is three quarters of a cup. Okay, okay now, now we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. That's a tape, that's, that's a big, tape. that's not. One teaspoon, that's a quarter, that's a half, <laughs> one teaspoon. There okay, we now we're gonna add seven to eight tablespoons of water. One, two. Three, are you all counting with me? This is great for toddlers. Four, six. five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're gonna turn our fancy mixer on. <gasps> now we're gonna add four cups of icing sugar. Hold on, are you making sure those are full cups? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a trick. We're gonna put some meringue powder. Did you guys know uh, this who? Or meringue powder. Uh, who? <laughs> Smell, it's made from mm. egg whites. We're gonna do three tablespoons. Whoa, it's really important. Here's my trick. We're gonna take this. Oh, yes, ma'am. And we're gonna put it. What over is it? A dishcloth? Dish Whoa! So we don't get a facial. <gasps> so we don't it's get like a facial. A steam bath from our. We want for the cake. It's like a very smooth consistency. So you may need to add a little bit more water. Don't worry if you add too much because you can always just add more ice and sugar. Now, mm. secret ingredient. Blue. Blue. So we're gonna add a little bit of this. Oh, we don't need a lot. This is gonna give us a great color. Just so oh. spread it in there like this. Oh. Amazing. That's a beautiful color. Do you like that blue? I you love like that, that blue. blue. Okay, step three, decorate. I am a terrible icer, Nikki. Don't Help worry. me. It's really easy, especially when you have a good consistency to your icing. We're gonna confess that we didn't make enough blue icing, so Nikki just happened to have some extra white icing. You're gonna put a big dollop in the middle, and then, like cream cheese, you're just spreading it back and forth. Okay, another tip is you can go this way yes, to, make, flat on to top. make it flat. flat on top. Now we're gonna go with blue, okay? Under the sea. Okay. How does it look? Do Perfect. Look smooth? No, 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 it's an ocean. It's an ocean, so it doesn't have to be smooth. Okay. Do yes. the sides. <gasps> to do the sides. You just do a lot, okay? Like this. See, I don't actually rub it in yet. I just like, I'm gonna cover the whole cake. And then you spin the thing, and right? Then, right, and then I'm gonna do this technique where I go like this. We're going I to love take this. Yummy Kit Kat. I and see we're going these all over Instagram. To stick it all the way around our cake. How many Kit Kats do we need? This is six <gasps> Kit Kats. If you feel that the Kit Kat pieces may start to fall off and you want to get your cake nice and secure, we're just gonna take a nice ribbon and tie it around. In the bowl we have brown sugar, also known as sand. And we're gonna let's say we're gonna divide an imaginary line down the oh middle God, of our this, cake. So this is okay. crafty now. So one side is beach, one side is ocean. Can I just fill it up with yeah, like beach? Fill it up. I'm gonna help you out a little. You got these obviously little licorices that are beach towels. Beach towels. You wanna say? Gosh. So you get creative with what different decorations you wanna use. These are like um, little fuzzy, like they're gonna be lifeboats for the teddy bear picnic. I'm gonna pull this apart a little bit like this. The hole gets bigger. We're gonna take one of our Teddy Graham crackers. He's floating oh, in the lifesaver. Okay, that. now these little umbrellas, and we're gonna stick it here. Oh my gosh, Stop it. Just... And then our teddy bears are going to be lying on their beach towel. Just stop it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We are so excited for you to join us. We have two more videos coming up with Nikki. Check them out. They'll be live in the next two weeks. And thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe and check out Nikki's website. It's down below um, for more great tips and tricks. Have a great day.